Good morning. Today I have a review of the Misho Waterproof Sun Milk SPF 50. You all know that one of my favorite sunscreens is the Misha Soft Focus Sunscreen. So of course, I wanted to try the waterproof version because I've heard some great things about it. Let me tell you a little bit about this and then we'll get into the wear test. SPF 50, 2.36 fluid ounces. It is formulated to be waterproof for water activities, humidity, and sweat. It is a hybrid sunscreen, meaning that it has both chemical and physical sunscreen ingredients. And the price is $13 on Amazon, which is a great price in my opinion. Let me show you how it comes out. It is a thinner formula. It's a little bit drippy. You can see it running down my hand there. And it rubs in so nice and disappears into the skin. Look at that. In my opinion, if this has a white cast on darker skin, it is going to be very minimal because there's no white cast on my skin. Now for the wear test. Good morning. It's testing new sunscreen day. <laughs> Today I'm testing out the Misha Waterproof SPF 50 Sun Milk. It does have a lot of titanium dioxide, so it is a mineral sunscreen. And I'm already sweating this morning. It is supposed to get up to 79 degrees Fahrenheit today, so it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna be doing a lot of errands out and about in the humidity here in South Carolina. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, already sweating. So let's, let's test this baby out. I already have moisturizer on my face and sunscreen under my eyes and on my eyelids. We should pull my hair back. It does have a slight fragrance. Slightly like baby powder meets a lemon, <laughs> but, but it's not a strong one. I would say this is, I just dropped it. I would say this is a mid-weight. Oh, I got sunscreen all over the floor. A mid-weight sunscreen. It definitely looks luminous, right? It's definitely not matte. I'm going to finish putting this on my face <laughs> and then I will wait about 10-15 minutes, put my makeup on top and then I'll check back in with you and we'll see how makeup sits on top and then after that I will do a two or four hour wear test. So I'll be right back. Before I put on my makeup I want you to see how it sits down. I feel like these lights do a better job of that. So it's a little glowy. It's not, it's not it doesn't feel greasy on my face at all. It already feels like it's setting on top of my skin nicely. And I am already a little sweaty, so that could be part of the glow. Oh, but it's more like a natural glow. You guys, this laid down so nice. It dried down so nice on my face. Oh, it was, um, wasn't greasy at all. It was just like, you know I love my Misha soft, soft focus. <clears throat> this one is not matte. This one's not matte. So it still was a little glowy afterwards, but it was not greasy at all. I put on my Misha foundation on top and then I powdered with my typical powder. So you can see it's still a little glowy. Mind you, I am still sweaty. It is humid today and I've got some sweat going on, which is why I'm testing this one. <laughs> but I think it looks really nice. So I will check back in with you in two hours, two to four hours. Hi, it's the next day. <laughs> I got so wrapped up in a doctor's appointment yesterday and uh, running errands, I completely forgot to film a two or four hour check-in. So I have once again put this on. I have a different foundation on this morning. I have the Tarte BB Cream, that's the Shape Tape BB Cream, Cloud Cream, whatever. I have that on this morning. It's more of a matte foundation. The sunscreen is working beautifully. We're getting ready to go walk around the block, my daughter and I, it's spring break. So it's humid here and I'll get a little sweaty and I'm also sick this morning. So I will check back in with you and let you know how this, how this wears in the humidity. But I think it looks great. I, my foundation is very light. See, it's already worn off my nose because I've been blowing my nose so much.
final thoughts, pros and cons. Pros, it's waterproof. It is lightweight. It's SPF 50, which you know I love, a maximum sun protection. It spreads so easily. It's so easy to rub into your skin. There is little to no white cast. It's not greasy at all. It wears great under makeup and on top of moisturizer. There's no peeling. There's no wearing down, breaking down of your makeup and it has a physical sunscreen in it. Yes, there are chemical ingredients, but it also has titanium dioxide in it. I tested this out on my face at the beach the other day. I've been wearing this for about two and a half weeks, been wearing it through being sick, <laughs> through humidity, through the heat here in South Carolina. It did great two hours on my face with the wind. It was a very windy day. I did not get in the water, but there was sand blasting at my face. It did fantastic. We did get a little sweaty on the face. It did wonderful. Cons. Oh, this one, this one bothers me. I love scent in the sunscreen, but I do not like the scent of baby powder. And that's what this smells like. Most of the times when a sunscreen has a fragrance, it will dissipate once you apply it and it dries down. This stays on the scent for a good hour. You're going to be smelling baby powder, which is not a deal breaker for me but it's not pleasant and it may be a deal breaker for some of you. Another con is I can't find, and I had this problem with all of the Misha sunscreens. I can't find the percentage of physical sunscreen. How much titanium dioxide? What is the percentage? I looked on Amazon. I looked on the ingredients in the box. I looked on the Misha website. I looked on Yes Style. And nowhere can I find what the percentage of titanium dioxide is in here. And to me, that is a con. It is also shiny on its own, but not that shiny under makeup. I have it on this morning, <laughs> put it on again. It's been about an hour and a half since I've had it on and it's a little shiny, but it's not bad. But I did wear it on its own at the beach, did not put any foundation on top of it and it didn't bother me. It did great. And a con is that as you can see, after about an hour and a half, two hours, which I have been wearing this for a couple weeks now, it does pop through a matte foundation and matte powder. So that's a content. Have you tried this out? What are your thoughts? Would you recommend it or would you pass? I'm going to keep enjoying and wearing this throughout the summer. Don't forget to reapply your sunscreen and subscribe to the channel before you leave. I will see you in the next video. Bye.